it's such a in, nice interactive and they can listen in surround sound and they can just enjoy and that's what i mean by immersive experience they can have friends right. over and enjoy so someone coming home from work you know they want like an, a relaxing experience or get together with friends they listen uh to the ambience in the background and then you know it's such a, it's a fun thing you know to right. do Hello and welcome back to the Ignition Path Podcast. My name is Kyle Goodnight. I'm so happy for you to join me today again. I've got an amazing guest today. I met her a couple of weeks ago. She is definitely by far one of the most different type of businesses I've ever met. I cannot wait for her to explain it because there's no way that I can even explain it. But this is Jacqueline Cohen Beatty from the Original Approach Entertainment business. And she is, uh, she's is she got a great background. She's, uh, she's a voiceover like me. Um, she's an actor like me. Uh, she has some really cool things to share with you and some things where she's taken her background and intertwined it to create a new business that she's going to talk all about today. But first, remember, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. If you see this this show, whether you see it on YouTube or hear it on, on Apple or, or Spotify or any of your major places, and you think that someone needs to hear uh, this message that Jacqueline's going to be talking about, then please don't hesitate to share it. Jacqueline, welcome to the Ignition Path Podcast. How are you today? Thank you, Kyle. Good night. I'm so happy to be here. I'm great. Doing great, really. And uh, excited about my e-cookbook um, and my business. You know, it's yeah. it's really starting to progress so well. I just jump-started, um, you know, my affiliate program, and I have um, music aligned with my um, e-cookbook. So uh, what it is, it's it, I created an interactive, um, immersive experience in a kitchen. So it's mm -hmm. an e-cookbook with comedy stories like vignettes, uh, different characters I made up with, they're like dialogues going on, different kinds of stories. And um, I also align music. So um, there's 16 music compositions in the ebook and people can be cooking and following along with some recipes because there is some character voices, some recipes in there. And there's, uh, there's different, types of music. So there's R&B, smooth jazz. Uh, there's, I, I do some rap. I do um, like dance music. There's, um, there's pop, there's world music. So French, Italian, Greek, and Spanish. So this is actually um, to show you what the e-cookbook um, looks like. I have the print book courtesy of the book company I self-published through, but uh, this is the book. Um, you know, it, it's as it's available in two formats: as an EPUB version and also as um, a PDF. The EPUB is available on all Apple devices only, but the PDF is flexible. They both have clickable table of contents. So if you wanna, uh, you wanna uh, go for Italian food or Moroccan food, you just click or stories. You just click and you get there, and you can you click on this a QR code into it now. Uh, so. Um, the QR code, when you click, you get to the music. And so this is the back of the book. I did a movie trailer as well. So there's a photo in my movie, movie trailer. That's uh, <laughs> turkey meatballs, lamb tortillas, cheese raviolis, and salads. There's a oh, lot you make more. me hungry. <laughs> <laughs> there's a lot more photos on my website. Not every photo is in the ebook, but there's a lot of yeah, recipes in right. there. So the way, um, you know, I got started with this is, you know, I've been cooking since I'm 15 years old. I now have my food handle certificate from a um, national restaurant organization. Um, I um, have been doing music uh, for a long time, since I'm 9, 10, um, you know, writing music and then now producing full-fledged, um, you know, music productions, film scores, and many orchestrations, as well as all these different types of music I just mentioned. So I'm a producer, a singer, a voice, as Kyle mentioned, do voiceovers, um, you know, do acting, uh, you know, sing. And um, that got started at, at an early age. And then the comedy, I took acting in back in college. And so the acting came about, you know, and then I was in plays in high school uh, before that. And then um, I started to write comedy stories, you know, and then evolved that. Right. Well, I knew know that, you know, I know you have that probably it was was a hobby for most of your your career and your life, because I do know that you actually had a real job. I, what I say, you know, the, the Ignition Path podcast is the word path in, in the name is exactly that. Um, 
at this point in time, you know, you've, you've described, you know, what you've done, where you're at now, but I also want to make sure that anybody out there listening and they may be in the corporate world or doing something where they're just not doing their passion or they're, they're, they're doing their hobby, but they want to figure out how to blend the two and, and use their career and their hobby to make a new business. And that's what this is all about. So tell us what you did before, you know, I mind you, you probably sprinkled in acting and voiceover and singing throughout your life. But when it came to a real job, a nine to five or what have you, where, what is that background? And then uh, a second part to that question, when was the day that you decided that, hey, I've got this world and this world and the two worlds can collide to create this new world? Thank you for asking that question. So um, when I first graduated from school, I went into telecommunications. I was in sales. I have many years of experience in sales. Hence, that's the. It's interesting because the book, the ebook, um, is about a salesperson. You know, it goes through all different like types of experiences. I mean, many many experiences. Um, so I spent um, some time in telecommunications. I got promoted, uh, being an outside field sales rep, made money for the comp, you know, company and myself. I went to later on to service. Um, uh, different accounts, um, you know, across the country uh, with another um, telecommunications company. Uh, I was in back office operations um, in the financial industry for a short stint. Um, and then later on, I had found uh, the language services industry and I spent 14 years in the language services industry and it was fantastic. I love what I learned. You know, I only, um, uh, in terms of my um, my music and my my company, uh, I did that only in my spare time, um, right. you know, because uh, that was, you know, that was the thing I had the job. So I did it in my spare time. And, uh, and when, it, when uh, things um, started to, you know, happen where there were eventually, um, you know, where my, my role uh, was inside sales. So I was helping business development teams, you know, to help them sell. Um, and also train people. I trained business development teams to be successful. So that's what I did. Um, later on, there were restructurings. It happened um, six times to me in 14 years. Um, and then when the last thing happened to last one happened to me in December of 2023, I, I was ready with, you know, I was preparing my ebook uh, because I wanted to launch that. And I was going to stay in the corporate world and just continue to do my business in my spare time. But when the restructuring happening, happened to me, I decided that I would go full time in January. Great. That's great. Yeah. That's amazing. You know, so when was the time uh, that you, you were going to take what you learned in your full-time business and saw that there was a crossover to help you in your, excuse me, in your, in your, your other business that, that, that brought you to this point where you've now, took the leap to leave the other industry, put your full-time work into this. And like, what, talk about when that, what, what made that decision? Like, what was that moment? Well, I never, um, you know, took leads to my business uh, from the previous companies. What stayed right. there, stayed there. So That's I, good. <laughs> I drank, <That's> moral. <laughs> you know, yeah. I'm, I'm a, I do things with, with ethics and I have morals, yep. high morals, yep. and I do things, you know, very, very fairly, you know, I'm, I'm fair to everyone. So I, um, I, I launched my business on my own merits, my, my contacts, my contacts alone, contacts that I generated, people I met, um, you know, for my business only. Uh, so I kept the corporate world completely separate from my, my business. You know, so that's, you know, I mean, I learned selling skills. I learned how to sell. Like, I mean, I, over time, I evolved my own process. It was my process. Uh, so I learned how to do um, different types of, you know, uh, selling strategies and understood, you know, how engaging um, customers was or prospects was the way to go rather than, you know, I don't hard, I never hard sell, you know, uh, I learned not to, I learned to be a, um, a person who sells well rather than someone who pushes product and, and is aggressive, you know. So I think that my sales skills evolved over time and I certainly learned a lot in that industry and how to, how to sell and, and be successful. And I mm -hmm. made lots of millions of dollars 
for uh, companies out there. All right. Yeah. And now you're just on the path to making million dollars, millions of dollars for yourself through this I process. So. <laughs> so, so okay. So just to make sure that everybody is 100% clear on what this is and what she does, I had to have her ex explain to me like I was a five-year-old as well. So when one of the things <laughs> I have here in my notes from my original conversation was, it's an ebook, and think of short plays and think of Broadway comes to an ebook and the kitchen. So with that being said, can you paint the picture of how an end user would use this book? Can you just, can you uh, do a short um, description of someone coming home from work and find, grabbing their, their iPad, opening up the ebook and enjoying a cooking process with their loved one? Like, can you explain what this, what, what, like, like basically, put your 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 best a screenplay description on and describe to to my to the audience that uh, how this would actually function inside of a home because that yes. was one thing that we didn't talk about when we first met on our introductory call but I'm like I'm gonna wait for that for the podcast because I want her to paint me the picture so that everybody that's listening gets the concept I understand the concept because you explained it in a different way for me on our first call but I just want you to take in your own words talk about someone coming home from work and what it would do. Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, depending on what type of food they wanted, uh, they can pick food. I cook Italian, Greek, Spanish, um, Mexican, Indian food, Thai, French, Cajun, frozen drinks. There's uh, there's some desserts. There's breakfast items, brunch. There's, uh, you know, uh, different cooking tips in there as well. So since it's clickable table of contents, it's up to the person to decide what type of food they want. And of course. they click. So first Taco thing, Tuesday, would, Taco Tuesday, you know, <laughs> you know, Mexican like Monday, they want, yeah. <laughs> you know, something like, you know, like, you know, something like a burrito, they just, they click and then uh, they would get to um, the recipe and then they can click the music and um, just in surround sound, they could play it in surround sound and just be listening uh, to, you know, the music in the background with some comedy and sound effects. Um, if they just wanted the music alone, they could click the QR code and they can listen it. And actually in some of, some of the music, there's some recipes to follow so they can follow along with some nice. of the recipes as they're listening to the music and cooking at the same time. And, you know, there's a lot of really good beats in there and they can just, they can be dancing as they're cooking. <laughs> they can, <laughs> uh, yeah, they can do that. Um, and they can So sing. are you, can you, can you pick? Can you pick Mexican, but then have rap music? Can you do, or is it is it yeah. a set track? Yes. Okay, so you I didn't know. Pick, like, okay. okay, so you can pick that, like from the book. Like, okay, you want Mexican food, so you pick Mexican food, and then they can click on a rap song. You know, where I okay. rap. Okay. You know, All right. so it's it's fun that way. So they can be listening, right? So right. it's just fun. It's such an in, a nice interactive. They can listen in surround sound, and they can just enjoy and that's what I mean by immersive experience. They can have friends right. over and enjoy. So someone coming home from work, you know, they want like an, a relaxing experience or get together with friends. They listen uh, to the ambience in the background. And then, you know, it's such a, it's a fun thing, you know, to right, do. Right. Right. So when it comes to um, like when on your website, um, do you have like, do you have any form of, a camera that videotaped, uh, a, you know, how people utilize it and see, like a visual or like a small thing I could put in the middle of the show that shows someone actually utilizing the, the, the ebook and in the format that you just explained. I ha I don't, I haven't done that, but that's a really good thing to do. You know, if, yeah. <laughs> Going forward. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You know, if, 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 yeah, I would, I would love to, to put something together. Um, you know, and then have something like that would be great, you know, because it would, you know, teach people how to do it. The other thing is, yeah. it's also a teaching book. It te first okay. of all, it teaches do's and don'ts of sales. That's one thing it does. But okay. it also, in addition to, <laughs> so that's a sales part I'm of it. I, 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 I said in the beginning of this episode, this is a one, a, a very unique business that I've never heard of anybody do. So she's a, it, she's a unicorn really right is. now. <laughs> so this book is a few things. It's called yeah. Adventures of a Comical Salesperson with International Recipes. So that is, <laughs> okay. that, that's, right, that's the title of the book. So it teaches yeah. sales do's and don'ts in a whimsical way, comical way. Right. But the other things it teaches is how to cook. So if people are home and let's say they're trying to teach other people, you know, how to cook, 
they can actually use this this book as a teaching tool for people they have at home or maybe they want to teach their kids you know how to cook so this is good for that as well so it, this book does a number of things you know so it, there's like it's like a um comprising a number of different uh types of tools which in in a right. sense to uh get a, an immersive experience from it Right. So it's an ebook, but do can people purchase it as a as a standalone a hard copy as well? I don't I don't have the hard copy. Okay. Um, okay. I'm looking into the potential okay. of that. Because then they can uh, open am... up a page and scan the QR code right there and then go into an right. app. I mean, I mean I'm most... just I, my my brain started moving about other it's, things. It's good. <laughs> it's good questions. Um, you know, I've gotten uh, a few requests for you know potential of um, the hardcover book, but. Uh, I, I'm pricing it out and I'm talking to companies, so I'll have to see on that. I, but yeah. I don't have that right now. I don't know if I'll do that, but I, I'm looking into it. Um, right. But the ebook is is easy. Most people want the yeah. ebook because a lot of people are on their um, their computer yeah. anyway. I mean, many their people computer, do their phones. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you know, so, and people love that. Yeah, right. Exactly. So, well, I'll, what is it? I think it's. I think the percentage of people that consume any content now is on their phone is in the eighties or nine low nineties, wow. you know, percent. Of, yeah. Do you love like, that? Cause yeah. they just, they yeah. switch, they click huh. around, you know, they like, click. Who that, knew, you know, <laughs> who knew you when, when you and I were growing up that we'd be carrying around a computer more powerful than, you know, the Pentagon's original computer in our pockets. So, you know, right. <laughs> exactly. Right. So this is good. And, and, and then they, you know, people can click onto video games and go back to it so they can multitask, you know, right. they can do whatever. And, and it's nice to just be yep. able to have that in the background. So real quick, when it comes to people that could be listening to this and they don't, they, they, now they understand the concept of the book and they yeah. understand, okay, that does sound kind of fun. I've got an interactive book that I can pull up a recipe and have music and dance to it and get my family involved. Hey, you go chop, you go chop up some tomatoes while I cook the meat and we're singing and having fun. That's how I'm picturing it in my <laughs> yes, head, but I, yes. I'm a very creative. So, um, but when it comes to, when it comes to who you want to buy this book, I know the one-offs, yeah. the one the individuals that want this, but, but I know that when we spoke originally, you mentioned groups of of, of like where this could be could fit in and you mentioned something about the real estate industry so yeah. explain a little bit of, maybe there's a real estate agent listening to this and hello and sure. thank you so much for what you guys do you guys are in, invaluable out there in this world but you real estate agents always like to have a gift wouldn't this be an amazing absolutely. gift so talk a little bit about that and then we'll wrap so, things up so yeah absolutely so it's a closing it's a good closing gift like after the transaction closes you know and only after the transaction closes, real estate agents could give uh, gifts, as, as far as I heard. Um, yeah. So people who are um, who have rather purchased their home or rental, they can they can use this book in their kitchen. You know, they're cooking in the kitchen, and uh, it can be used. Um, but yeah, I mean, if real estate agents are giving, let's say, a bottle of wine or a gift basket, and it's comparable, you know, price. Um, this is worth it because you know yeah. a bottle of wine is great but it's used up and then you know you can wait to the next year and whatever you know to get another bottle of wine or, or a gift basket maybe however they do it but um you know this is a book that people have for life and they and it's it's something that's memorable as well yeah, yeah. that's that's and great it's a good gift i mean it's a good corporate gift it's good recognition mm -hmm. gift there's so many okay. ways um this book can be used and this book is is very valuable to um i think many people um who you know would like to give a gift as well to somebody else yeah fantastic is it edit i always mess up with this word editable <laughs> edit a uh, edit able so can a company edit it to put in their own recipes but have your concept i don't have that capability at yes. Right now. Yeah. There you go. There's your million. There's your million. There's your two million dollar <laughs> idea. <laughs> there you go. Who knows that's if I'll a, have it? But that, that's, that's a, a good nugget I just too. gave you. When when that one blows up, you just say, "Hey, just send me the royalty check," and that's fine. No, because <laughs> I. Oh, the reason why is because uh, you know, I even in, even in the EMS industry, we've created a cookbook of all of us, our employees' like favorite recipes. So well, what you know, I do have is well, this is the concept I already had before. Is that I oh, have. Oh darn! No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah. I I have a nutritionist who, um, you know, he's who um, several nutritionists I've been talking to that 
um, they uh, would tweak, tweak the recipes for gotcha. specific oh, populations. Oh, okay. That's a, yeah, that's a good idea. You know, di diabetic or low sodium right. or gluten-free, <laughs> gluten-free recipes. Yeah, that sounds great. So Right. So it's the same concept, you know, but that, yeah, that, that uh, I have because someone had asked me about that so they could tweak, you know, the recipes for specific right, right. purposes and that type of thing. Yeah. All right. Well, once again, thank you all so much for, for tuning in. We appreciate you coming back and listening to the Ignition Path podcast and sharing this and liking it and doing all that good stuff. Um, anything else that you want to, uh, Jacqueline, go ahead and just tell what your website is. Of course, it'll all be in the show notes, but go ahead and just verbally tell what your website is, where they can find your ebook. I'm sure hopefully it's on Amazon or someplace easy like that. All yeah. of the links will, of course, be in the description, but but go ahead and tell people where they can get your ebook and any th last message and then we'll wrap this up for today. Sure. So my uh, my ebook is available on my website, which is jackine.com. That's J A C Q I N E dot com. And yeah, it's it's um, payable through uh, people want to purchase it through PayPal. Um, so it's available there. PayPal takes many credit cards. Um, so I'm going to prove um, business on PayPal. And uh, yeah, that's where they can purchase it. Awesome. And once again, all that stuff will be in the show notes. You can just a click away for everybody. But uh, thanks so much for coming on the Ignition Path podcast and sharing with us your path to entrepreneurship. And I just uh, wanted yeah. to say one yeah, more go thing. For it. Sure, absolutely. <laughs> uh, they can check out other music, not the music in the ebook, but other music on my YouTube channel. Oh, oh cool, cool. That's under Jack Keen, which is J-A-C-Q-I-N-E. So they can awesome. check out yeah, other music. And I've been on radio and television and wrote a um, number of, you know, radio stations last week. And uh, yeah. Fantastic. All right. Well, all that stuff, Jack Jacqueline will send me all of that stuff and it'll all be in the show notes so you guys can explore her amazing new new uh, venture and, and all the exciting stuff that she's doing. So thanks so much for coming on the Ignition Path podcast and we'll yeah. talk to you next time. Take care, everybody. Thank you so much. Thank you for listening to Ignition Path, fueling the entrepreneurial fire.